Welcome to the Esteem Technical Series. This video will cover the security update for the Horizon Series radios released in January of 2018. There are two elements to this software update that we want to cover. The first is the security update itself. In October of 2017, a potential vulnerability to Wi-Fi was identified nationwide known as CRACK, or the Key Reinstallation Attack. Known, known attacks have occurred in an Esteem wireless network, but in response to this threat, a security update has been implemented into the latest software updates for the Horizon series. There were some additional new features added, one being a radio packet monitor, which we will cover in detail in a future video. The next is actually the Ether Station mode access, also covered in a future video. We also have the ability now to create a NTP or a timing master mode within the wireless network without having to go to the NTP server, and also have the ability to uh, reserve IP addresses based upon a DHCP static. So how do we implement these changes within the radio? We begin by downloading two security files from the FTP server at esteem.com. To get to the FTP site, you can simply open any web browser at the address line, type in ftp.esteem.com. It will then open a list of directories. We want to go to the Horizon folder, and then within the Horizon folder, we have the Horizon Security Update PDF, which is a step-by-step -step instruction of everything that we're going through here. Within that, we also find two software update files, one that's listed as Software Update Horizon, and one that's listed as Software Update S1, S2. We want to download both of these files to the local computer. In most web browsers, that is simply just a matter of doing a right mouse click, saving the link as, and then specifying where you want the directory to go. Once both the files have been downloaded to your local computer, you'll then open up the Esteem Discover utility. We then want to press the Discover EST radio button. We'll then identify the current Esteem that we're working on, which is the Horizon 5.8. And we have two ways of opening the web browser within the radio itself. The first is just opening your default web browser and typing in the IP address. Or you can use a shortcut by simply clicking on the, the IP address, doing a right mouse click, and press the button that says Configure Radio. This will then open the default web browser and enter the IP address automatically. You'll then be asked to enter in the username and password, which by default will be lowercase admin, A-D-M-I-N. We'll enter that in for both the username and password. Once that has been entered, we press login. We'll then come to the home page of the radio itself. We want to press software update, press software update image file, press the next button, select upload via the web browser, press the next button again, and then from here, select Choose File. Of the two files that we downloaded, we want to start with the S1, S2 version. That is the bootloader update. We need to complete that before we do the update, which is the software update. We'll select the S1, S2 file, press Open, and then press Upload File. This will take it from the computer and move it to the radio. Once the radio has accepted it, then we press the Validate and Update button. This will then send it to the radio and verify the file is correct and begin the update process. This will take approximately two minutes. Once the two minutes has passed, we can press the Go to Home button, which will take us back to the home screen within the radio. From there, we can go through the exact same process, but on the second file. We select Software Update, press the Next button, the Next button once again, when we choose the file this time, though, we're actually going to select the file that is listed as Software Update Horizon, not the S1, S2. Once we select Open, we'll hit Upload File. That will then push that file to the radio itself. Once the radio has accepted it, you'll get to the Validate and Update screen. We'll press the Validate and Update button, and again, look at the screen that will tell us to press here to go back to the main screen. This update will take approximately three minutes. Now, if you do happen to do the software update before the bootloader, or the software update gets entered without the bootloader information, you will come up with a warning message that you'll see here on the screen that says first stage bootloader is out of date and needs to be updated. To, com 
fix this error, all you need to do is complete the bootloader update and the error will go away. After the three minutes, we just simply go press the Go to Home button. This will take us back to the home page in the radio. What we want to do to verify that the installation has been complete, just verify that the date code on the software version is 2018, January 10th at 0856. No other changes should be necessary. All of your peer configurations, uh, client configurations, everything in the radio should stay the same. If you have any questions on how to complete this update or need any other information, you can email us at support at esteem.com or you're welcome to call at area code 509-735-9092. Thank you very much and have a great day.